Hi, I'm Morgan. This is Katie Mod Handler and Toss for Horse, and today we're going to talk about clipping. So in Western, what we clip is we clip the ears, we clip the bridle path, we clip the eye feelers, the muzzle, and then we boot up their legs. We also clip the goat hairs underneath their chin. So when clipping your horse, you always want to be aware of where the cord is. You never want to get it where the horse can bite into it or where they can step on it because they can go through the lining of the cord and they can get electrocuted. Same thing with being around water. You never want to do it around water because they can get electrocuted. So what we're going to do is we're just going to turn on the clippers and just see how he takes it. He's pretty good with it. And I'm just going to kind of run him along. And I'm going to clip his muzzle. You're going to want to view it from different angles so that way you can make sure that you got all the hair. So I'm just doing this side, but if I was going to then go to do the other side, I would want to unplug the cord and go to the other side and plug it in so that way he doesn't bite into the cord and I'm not stretching it across in front of him. When you're going to clip their eyes, you're going to want to take your hand and put it over their eyelid to just kind of protect it and over their eyelashes because you don't want to cut those. And turn on the clippers. Good boy. And gently get the eyes through those. Good boy. Good boy. And then for the ones underneath, you're gonna use your thumb to cover the eyelashes. Just cover their eye. And gently go along and get those. Good boy. I'm gonna check my Clippers to make sure that they're not hot, which they aren't. For clipping their goat hairs, I'm going to unclip this, and that way it gives me more access to underneath here. I'm going to invert the clippers, and I'm going to comb with the hair, so that way it just gets the longer hairs. And then I would go to the other side to get the other side of this jaw. Alright. So now I'm going to trade places with Katie. And I'm going to come up by his ears and his bridle path. I'm going to grab a mounting block because he's a little bit tall. He's really good about keeping his head low, but he's still really tall. Alright, so Tosk is an Arabian, so he is going to have a little bit of a longer bridle path than most. A general rule is you can kind of hold their ear back and do about the length of their ear. His is just a little bit longer. I'm going to turn on the clippers. Make sure I pulled back part of the mane so that I don't clip too far. Move the halter out of the way. Alright, so for clipping their ears, I'm going to make sure that the blades aren't hot. They're not. And all you're going to do is you're just going to gently kind of pinch their ear closed and take the blades and just kind of run up along the sides to get the really long hair. So I just want to get the long hairs that are standing out. If I was going to a show, I would bald out the ears and I'd cut off all the hair that's in the ears. Good boy. But I'm not, so I'm just going to clip around the edges. Just like that. So just hold them I'm going to move the mounting block out of the way, and I'm going to boot up his legs. So for booting up the legs, again, you're going to make sure that the cord is out of the way, and make sure that their feet are nice and clean, and that they're dry. I'm going to So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to make these strokes as long and as steady and continuous as possible so that way I'm not leaving streaks in it. And what I'm going to do is then where the white and the black meet, 
I'm going to invert the blades and kind of come over it to help kind of blend it together. Um, if he, he has one black foot on the front, so what I would do for that is I would just turn on the blades and I would just comb up and kind of clip the long hairs around the cornet band. Um, for the fetlock, the back of the fetlock, I would just invert the blades and kind of trim the long hairs along the fetlock. And so that's how you boot up, and this is how you put the horse in Western. Today I use size 10 blades. You can also use 40s, which will give you a much closer cut, like if you're going to go to a show.